In the U.S., over 49 million students attend public elementary and secondary schools. Siemens helps these schools and their students be more green and sustainable through the products, solutions, and services they provide. Working with kindergarten through high school uh, to some of the largest colleges and universities in the U.S., Siemens has helped to improve building performance, and that means really to be more energy efficient and to create a better overall environment for their hundreds of thousands of students, as well as their faculty. A great example is at Stevenson High School in Illinois. Adlai E. Stevenson High School, located in suburban Chicago, is home to 4,600 students, faculty, and staff. Since opening in 1965, Stevenson has become one of the leading high schools in America. Its 76-acre campus features state-of-the-art facilities, such as a 1,200-seat performing arts center and an Olympic-sized swimming pool. Stevenson is also the first high school in the country to receive LEED Gold Level certification for existing buildings from the U.S. Green Building Council. Take schools in Illinois, there are thousands of existing schools, and if we're really going to make schools greener, we've got to focus on existing schools, and Stevenson is a wonderful example of how to do that. What they did to, in order to earn their certification is looking at things like their purchasing practices and making sure that they're purchasing things that are sustainable, that are local, making sure that they're recycling as much as possible, uh, minimizing waste as much as possible, um, looking at water efficiency, making sure that they're using water effectively, making sure that they're obviously using energy effectively. Going to a green school, it's like really cool because I'm trying to be green and then my school is too, so it's like we're supporting each other. There was like so much our school could do but wasn't doing, so it was really um, fun to try and change that. We're basically trying to make the school green in every way possible from lights to like water. The question is how can we take contemporary students and give them examples of physics and chemistry and math and science and make them contemporary to clean energy technologies because the links don't really exist there. So I'm trying to focus on how can we help the, the students. Over the years since energy costs increase, uh, sustainability became an issue and a concern. We started by servicing their building automation equipment and that led to identifying several key areas where they could improve building performance and increase their energy efficiency. We realized quickly what they were wanting to accomplish and it was both on the sustainability side, um, some green initiatives, their lead objectives and their goals, as well as just handling their mechanical infrastructure. We did a full assessment of all the mechanical systems uh, of the BAS system and came back to them with a, a full report of recommendations. And we began to explore how we could organize to become more sustainable and what the issues were. We did a carbon footprint and uh, used that to help guide some of our goals for the next year, which were to reduce natural gas and electrical usage. We touch um, all aspects of, of a building control system, along with um, fire security, mechanical services, electrical services. We've also brought in divisions of our of Siemens industry through industrial automation, low voltage, and some other aspects that allow us to address pretty much any situation that arises. Siemens' partnership with Stevenson extends well beyond the LEED certification as they are an active partner in the school's green team, helping to develop the curriculum around green technologies in their science labs, and providing and maintaining important data that is displayed on the school's green touchscreen kiosk. So as a teacher, I wanted to have a classroom that was sort of carbon neutral. We put in photovoltaic panels, we put in solar thermal panels, and we set up the room so that it could cut down on its carbon output. Other things like integrating sustainability into the curriculum. Siemens is doing a great job of working with the students and the teachers and the broader community. It's one thing to design and build a building green, but it's the, every occupant day in and day out that really makes a building green, and they've really demonstrated that that's, that's possible and they've achieved LEED Gold certification because of that. Yeah, so we also do a lot of green, um, environmentally friendly things at home. You know, recycle, do everything you can to decrease the carbon footprint, shut off the water when you're brushing your teeth. All you need to do is just put a little bit of effort, like turn off the lights when you're not using it, and that energy can be 
saved up over time and can be put to better use. And this is not only helping the school and the environment, it's going to educate everybody here so they too can get involved and be green. The whole process of having students understand what the school is doing is really just the beginning of, I think, a big national movement, if not worldwide movement.